Hi, my name is Blair Henderson and I'm here to show you how to create a fully functioning prototype in Adobe XD. XD is great for making quick and easy prototypes that look so professional. Also, one thing that is great about it is a large tool set for you to use. So for this tutorial, I'll explain how to combine your already designed app into a prototype. Now you're in design mode. This, as you know, is where you designed your app and what the different screens are going to look like. Once you are done, you need to go into the prototype mode to piece it all together. If you look at the top left of the screen, you'll see the words design and prototype. You see design is underlined right now because we are in design mode. So go ahead and click on prototype to get into the prototype mode. Prototype mode looks almost the same as design mode, but it does different things. It is so simple to connect all your pages to make it work. So the app we are connecting today is the binge watching calculator. How it works is you put the amount of time you have available, and then you put in the show you want to watch, and then it will tell you how many shows you can watch during that time period. Now let's get started. The first thing the user is going to try to do is put in the hours. So let's connect the hours box to the second page. So how you do this is you come over to your first screen, and let's click on the hour box. You will see that a blue tab will appear. Drag this tab to the second page or whatever page you want this to go to. But for this, we want the second page. You will notice there are different options for the kind of transitions you can do. The target is the page that you're going to. The transition is if you want the pages to move or just disappear. The ease shows how the next page will come onto the screen. For this section, let's do target two, and it will fill it in when you select the page you want to go to, which is nice. So this is you. The transition for this will be none. Let's change that. And we want the ease to be none too. But because we selected the transition as none, this automatically just grays out and doesn't let you click on it. Because this is all these pages right here until the last one are still supposed to be technically the same screen. We're making the user think it's the same screen. We're going to do no transitions until this last one right here. Let's go to the next page and let's attach the drop down menu to the third page. So, how we're going to do that is we're going to select this drop down menu, go ahead and drag it on over. And you'll notice that this, this box is already filled into the same as the previous transition we did, which is really nice. So, it's one less step for you. Now let's keep going through this app and keep connecting it along the way. So we're going to take the minutes and take it over here. And then we're going to take the minutes drop down menu and bring it over here. The show of choice, we're going to drag it over and have it already pre-filled in for the office. Gotta love it. And then now let's do the last transition between the pay last page and the one before it. Because this is going to be a whole new page in the app, we could change up the transitions a little bit. So let's connect the Let's Watch button to the last artboard. So if you click on it and drag it over. Now for the settings, let's have the transition be slide left and the easing to be ease out. So slide left and ease out. Now, let's look at the final project because we've connected all the screens together. Now you can do this by going up in this right hand corner and clicking the play button. So look, now it looks like kind of like how it would look on your phone. Let's try it out. So if we want it, we were the user, we do the hours and then we click three and then we do the minutes and let's do 20 and then we theoretically click in the show choice and type it but we're just going to pre-fill it in as the office since this is a prototype and then let's watch and you'll notice how the you can watch page kind of slides on in thanks to that transition one thing that's also really cool is if you wanted to you could press this button up here when you started and it will actually record your your movements and it shows like a little circle where your mouse is so if you want to send this to people, investors, or wherever, you can easily show them how it's supposed to work. So I hope you learned a ton from this tutorial. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.